A lot of times, you may need to convert PowerPoint into animated GIF. The coolest thing is that you can include animation and highlights along with your conversion. Including PowerPoint animations will help make content more engaging. For example, let's assume that this is the slide that you would like to convert into animated GIF. Before doing the conversion, though, it might make sense to add some animations to the slide that will actually make it animated. There are four elements in this PowerPoint slide. The title, the diagram, image, and the link. We can animate all four elements on the screen by navigating to Animations tab right inside PowerPoint, then selecting the element, and then selecting the animation that you would like to add. Animation is one of the cool features of PowerPoint, which represents visual effect to bring objects on and off the slide. Microsoft calls these animations entrances and exits, and you can apply them for pretty much any element on the screen. To add animation, you need to select the element that you're trying to animate and select the animation type. In my case, I'm going to select Appear. I will do it for the title, then I'll select the diagram and I will click Appear, then I'll do it for the logo and select Appear, and then I'll do it for the link. If you would like to manage animations, you can navigate to Animation pane right inside PowerPoint where you will see all four animations that we've just added. To play the slide and preview the animations, you can select Slideshow and click from the beginning. Now I need to use cursors to go through the animations. Not all animations in PowerPoint are created equal. Even though there are tons of animations available, the most professionally looking ones are Appear, Fade, Wipe and Zoom. And it typically might be a good idea to use the same animation across your entire presentation. In my case, I selected Appear on all four objects on the screen. It might also be a good idea to introduce animations in the areas where audience is looking. And the key for any animation is the similar to any good presentation. You want to clarify the content and less is more in this case. And you want to make sure that your animations supplement your story. Once you have your animations in place, it might be time to export PowerPoint slide as animated GIF. To do that, you navigate to the Export menu under the File tab and then select Create Animated GIF. You have some control on what type of quality, as well as frames per second, you will select for Animated GIF. You can also remove the background by making background transparent, and then choose different options if you have multiple slides. I only have one slide for this demo, and when I click Create GIF, it will create the GIF file for the presentation but you can use the transitions as another type of animations and create animated GIF for multiple slides. After you save the file by clicking the Save button in the Save dialog box, you can open the file in File Explorer and preview the created animated GIF file. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.